for this project, we're going to be making a hot air balloon, but focusing on pattern in our hot air balloon. Pattern is whenever something repeats or goes over and over again. We're mostly going to be looking at A, B pattern. For example, triangle square, triangle square, or blue, yellow, blue, yellow, something that keeps going and going and going. We can make patterns with both shapes, colors, lines, you name it. So for your hot air balloon, we're going to be adding as many beautiful bright colors and different patterns as we can think of. For your pattern hot air balloon, what we're going to start with is drawing the hot air balloon. So start with, at the top of your paper, like you're drawing a rainbow. From that rainbow, we bring it in, we bring it in, and then we're going to curve it down, curve it down, but don't have them touch yet. The opening of the balloon, since it's above us, we're going to see an oval here. It might help you to turn your paper and connect those lines with an oval. Next, we need our basket. So I'm going to have a line, a string coming down, a string coming down, an oval to connect them. Or I'm sorry, a frowny face to connect them. Jeez, oh man. Frowny face because it's above us. Straight line, straight line. And now you can do another oval. So we see the bottom of the basket. Usually there's four strings on a hot air balloon, so you can have two more strings coming down and connecting to the basket. Then baskets are usually woven. So let's put some frowny faces in here to show that the basket's curved. And then some vertical lines straight up and down. We can add some hills or mountains down below. And then for the hot air balloon itself, let's start with a line straight down the middle. Let's focus on the, the left side first. Go ahead, give me a curved line. So if it was straight, it wouldn't really look that 3D. And another curved line. Let's do some on this side. <clears throat> a curve the other way. One more big curve. Now, we're going to have lines go across our balloon. So what we need to do is a frowny face. Maybe another frowny face. And if you want, you can fit a third one in there. Now when we talk about patterns and lines, we want to think of mostly an AB pattern where it repeats over and over again. So in mine, maybe in this section, I'm going to start with just blue stripes. Think of different lines you can use, think of different shapes. But then I need something different here. Maybe this time I'll put some hearts in there. And then I'm going to add some color to the background, maybe vertical stripes. And lightly color to fill in, make my potter balloon as colorful as possible. This one I'm going to lightly color in so you can still see my stripes. And then we have to repeat it. So I go blue. And my heart one. And you're going to do different patterns the whole way. Oops. Whole way down. It's okay if you accidentally make a mistake like I just did. So I want you to think how colorful, how many different lines, how many different shapes you can use in your hot air balloon.